Tonight, we're learning more about the victims of a military tank explosion. It happened about 20 miles east of Bend yesterday at a firing range. And we've learned that both victims are from Oregon City, 22-year-old Austin Lee and 51-year-old Stephen Preston. Well, tonight, our Jennifer Dowling digging deeper into this explosion and the reason the men may have been in that tank. Friends say that Steve Preston did most of his restoration projects out of a workshop at his home located in Oregon City. They say he had two men working for him to help with those projects. One of them was Austin Tyler Lee, also killed in that explosion. This YouTube video shows the firing of Steve Preston's 1944 M18 Hellcat tank destroyer used during World War II. That's the machine Oregon State Police say exploded while Preston and Austin Lee were planning to fire it at a range near Bend. The, the vehicle that unfortunately was involved in this tragedy tragedy was uh, one of Steve's uh, marquee vehicles. The president of the Military Vehicle Preservation Association says that Steve was a convention chairman with the organization and was passionate about maintaining history. He was uh, very energetic. Uh, he was open and easily approachable. Um, one of the things I admired most about Steve was uh, his eagerness to help uh, maybe the uh, novice or the or the um, new member. Another friend who didn't want to be identified said that he was at the shooting range area when the explosion happened. He said that Austin and Steve were helping a film crew with a documentary. They were shooting an armor piercing round at a piece of steel. He said the documentary crew was using high resolution cameras to get video of the flight. Steve's friend said the film crew had ties to the Flying Heritage Collection Museum in Everett, Washington. The organization issued this statement after we contacted them on their website saying the destroyer was quote being filmed for educational purposes and misfired near Bend, Oregon. The accident tragically claimed two lives. The tank's owner, who was a respected tank expert and a longtime partner and friend of Flying Heritage. The entire Flying Heritage team mourns this terrible loss. It was important to Steve to um, maintain the vehicles, uh, you know, appropriately and, and uh, accurately to their historical uh, nature. Friends say Steve also owned Sargent's Towing in Portland. Employees there told us by phone they were too emotional to speak on camera today because of the loss. Investigators say autopsies are scheduled for later in the week. Reporting from Oregon City, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.